Hi guys, it's time for another episode in my Makeup diary series. I've been doing this for a long time. I think this is episode, what are we on, 20? 21 maybe? <laughs> Basically, if you knew what I do here, I'll go through the... I was gonna say rules real quick. It's not really rules, it's just what I do here. Basically, I'm gonna tell you everything that is on my face that I've used in the seven or eight looks that you're going to see. I'm gonna quickly go through my base product in the first look because I tend to use the same things over and over again and then we'll stick to like the more fun part and reviews of things that maybe I haven't done uh, dedicated videos on in future looks. So that is basically it. So we're just gonna go ahead and start. So for my foundation today, I literally just dropped it in lash glue that I got all over my desk earlier because I am a clumsy person. <laughs> but right now I'm using the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation. I have mine in the shade 40NN. I feel like this is the time of the year where I never really know which shade I am. I tend to get a bit of a tan like early in the summer. I live in Vegas so it's like really hot during the summers. I tend to not really go outside in the warmest months but before that, I tend to get a bit of a tan and then it sort of fades and now I'm at like the end of my tan, I guess you could say. So this is a shade that matches me really nicely right now and I've pretty much used up my uh, Lancome foundation. So I bought a new one that I'm waiting to get from Ulta. So when that comes in, I'll probably start going back to that one again, but I really, really enjoy the formula of this. I do think this is getting discontinued though. Some people have told me that, I'm not sure I can find it at certain places, but a lot of places that used to sell this don't sell it anymore, so I guess that would make sense, which makes me sad because it is one of the best foundations that I've ever used. My concealer is still the same as the Lancome Tainted Doll Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. I have mine in the shade Buff N. I usually tend to go with just whatever is like the light neutral, especially when I don't have a tan, so this is pretty much that, and it works very nicely for me. I do have oily skin, so all of these products that I'm mentioning work very nicely for my oily skin, and I don't really like that dewy finish, especially in the beginning of the day, because I'm gonna get dewy and like, you know, glowier as the day goes on anyway. So if I start off with like glowier products, it just ends up looking like a grease ball by the end of the day. And it's not the look I'm going for. Uh, let's see, my powder is, I'm actually running out of this and I bought another one in my Ulta order. This is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. It's just a setting powder. I mean, it does what it needs to do. It's cheap and that's all I'm looking for. Let's see, my brow products are also still the same. I think I'm using the West Barnes & Co. Brow Pencil. Um, nothing really to talk about is a brow pencil. I have mine in the shade Brew, really good color for me. I just use that to like underline my brows basically. And then I use the actual brow pen in the shade Roots to like make hair like strokes because I don't have a lot of brows. So I like using this combination. They work great for me. If you're looking for a brow pen, I know I've said this so many times, don't sleep on this. I will link all the products that I'm mentioning down below. If they are available, if they're not, that's probably why they're not linked. Some links might be affiliated. I will make sure to like list everything down below as well as let you know if I've coached with the brands or if I've gotten stuff sent in PR. Let's see, what else? Are we onto the fun stuff yet? I think we might be. So my bronzer today, which I mean, you can argue whether or not a bronzer is fun, but I think it's more fun than foundation. I'm using the shade Bronze Nirvana from Pat McGrath. Still obsessed with this. I think it is beautiful, really, really nice color for me. Uh, I think the formula is just so nice and easy to use and I've never had any bad bronzer days when I've used that bronzer. So I just keep using it. And I also, there's something about the Pat McGrath like compact. I found myself using these a lot because they're just like, they feel luxurious. They feel nice, they look nice on my desk and I just, I gravitate towards them. I don't know what else to tell you. My blush today is from Flower Nose, which a lot of the products I'm wearing today, especially on my eyes, are from the new Flower Nose collection. Now, this is from the Rococo collection, which is one of their older ones, because I didn't pick up any of the new blushes because they were just too light for me. I wish they would expand their shade range and have like some darker blushes too. It would just be good for everybody, you know? But I feel like their blushes in general tend to lean very, very light, and I'm someone who likes my blush, blush to show, as you can see. So this one is great. This is in the shade five would highly recommend if you're looking for like just a pink kind of baby blush kind of thing. Uh, so for my eyes today, I'm using the new palette from their news collection. It's called the Black Swan palette. They had three palettes in this collection. This is the one that I chose. I mean, the packaging alone, can we just have a moment for that? Because it is so pretty, like, oh my God, I can't. And then this is the color story. So very interesting and unique and not a color story that I have in my collection already. Now I have like, black and gray and silver palettes, but with a pop of red and like an iridescent red shade or pink shade that I have in my eyes, I don't know. I feel like this is 
different and it's fun and the formulas are great. So happy that I picked this up myself. I'm also wearing one of their liquid glitter eyeshadows, which is not something that I would usually go for. This is in the shade one and I just have that on the front portion of my lower lash line. I'm not sure if you can see like the actual like glitter specks in it, but in real life it's so pretty and it shows up really well. And so far I like it. I mean, I tried it for the first time like 10 minutes ago. I can't tell you anything else really, except that it looks very pretty. So I don't really have any complaints yet. Uh, the lip that I have on today, I'm also absolutely in love with. This is so pretty. I'm using the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Liner. It's just called my perfect lip liner, I think. I will never ever know the name of this. Um, and then I'm wearing this one from also the new Flower Nose Collection. This is sort of a, like a gloss stick, but with more of a lipstick finish. I don't think that made any sense, but it is very kind of satiny like, but it looks like a gloss, but it doesn't feel gloopy or sticky or anything. And it just looks really nice. Like this could easily become one of my favorite lip products of all time. And especially the color, totally an everyday color for me. I'm gonna use this all the time. My only issue, this is nitpicking, is that the container is quite large. Like it's very big, like compared to my face, my hand, it's, it's, it's a big container. I'm guessing my dog is gonna get to go in the pool because he sounds very excited. And this is around the same time that my husband usually takes him out. So if you hear barking, it's probably why. Let's see, I'm also using the liquid liner from Flower Nose, which I actually bought a backup of this one when I got this order because that is how much I love it. This is the tiniest, tiniest, smallest, I don't know if you can see just how small that is liquid liner that I've ever tried. It is so nice and precise. This is a brush tip applicator, which I prefer. It glides on so easily. You can be really, really precise. And I've had that one for probably three or four months now, used every day, it's still going strong, but I bought another one because I don't know when I'll, you know, be making another order from Flower Nose. I figured I would just have a backup. I also bought it in the like dark brown, just to, like see how that is. I didn't use it today because I didn't feel like it would really go with my look. My lashes today are definitely from Unicorn Cosmetics. I'm not sure of the style. <laughs> they could be the, I'm not even gonna guess because I, I'm probably gonna get it wrong, but I had them in a little compact on the side here that was like, not in the actual packaging, which story of my life with my lashes right now. It's just kind of how it goes. So is there anything else? My highlighter today is actually the shade that I have in the front portion of my lid, just from the eyeshadow palette. And I think that's probably gonna sum up this first look. I really like this. I'm like so impressed by how good this turned out because I wasn't sure when I sat down to film with this palette, if I'd be able to get like a decent look out of this while still using a lot of shades enough to like test it out for a video. But I think I did a good job. Not like to my own horn, but I feel like I did a good job. I'm also using just some nude in my waterline. This one is from ColourPop, it's the shade Honey Dude, I think. Yeah, Honey Dude. So that's gonna be it for the first look of this video. I will check in with you tomorrow when I do my next one. Maybe the day after. I do have some stuff I need to like test. Uh, that I can't really show yet. Uh, so maybe I won't include that anyway. You'll just see the next look right now. So this is going to be the second look of the video, but technically the third look because I filmed the look yesterday and then I went to talk about my look and I realized after I was done that my audio wasn't working, that I'd forgotten to turn on my microphone. So I'm gonna show you the other look, but First, let me tell you what I'm using. So I got this package in the mail two days ago. This is the Glaminatrix Rich Romantic Palette. I should have a video up with this already. This is a beautiful, I guess what I would consider more of like a Valentine's palette. I'm a little surprised that this came out now and that they didn't wait until like, you know, February or something, but I, th I still think it's a beautiful palette, even though it's not really like fall fall. There are a couple of tones in here and you can see on my eyes too, that is a very fall look. But for me, when I look at this, this doesn't screen this time of the year, which I feel like a lot of brands are doing that right now. Like, you know, Blend Bunny with their pastel palette coming out in the fall. I'm like, hmm, maybe that's a new trend. Like just come out with a color story whenever you want. Like I'm not mad at it. You don't need to go by seasons. I just find it a little strange that like, this is when this palette is coming out. Anyway, it's a beautiful palette and I'm using a lot of shades in my eyes today. I have this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, I think on my eyes, I really wanted more of like a neutrally, like folly look today because I wanted to wear this lip stain that I have on and I talked about this in my previous makeup diaries, but this is one I got from Amazon. It's called the 
uh, Wonder Skin Lip Mask, and it's basically a red lip stain, so you put this on, you leave it on for like five minutes, and then you kind of wipe off whatever residue is left, and then you put a gloss over the top, so that's what I've done. I couldn't find any clear glosses, so I'm using one from ColourPop because it was the closest I could find to like clear, and this has a little bit of purple in it, so it's leaning more like purple than just pure red, which is sort of what I wanted, but anyway, this is the Lux Lips Lip Lip Gloss in the shade, does this have a name? Total Nonsense. It's from a collection that I don't remember. I think it was the Alice in Wonderland collection, maybe? I just chucked it on because I needed a gloss, so that's basically my lip combo today and my eyes, but like I was saying, I will show you the first look that I did with this palette as well. I mostly played with the purple tones and stuff. I'm not going to include that other look as like a look in this video. It's just going to be like a bonus look, but Here's what the look look like. I had a lot of fun making it and I think the shimmers in this palette are so beautiful. Like Laminatrix are just killing it with their shimmer formula so far. I will say the mattes are a little... I don't know if it, this is a different matte formula or not, but they feel a little bit thinner than what I'm used to. They do build nicely, but I'm used to a little bit more pigment straight off the bat, but I could also just be misremembering. It's been a little while since I used the Laminatrix palette. It's probably been like... I don't know, a month or something since I used their shadows last time, but I still think it's a beautiful palette. It's really, really nice quality as always. Uh, my blush today is from Sigma, and this is the shade called Sunset Kiss. I wanted just like this color. <laughs> so that's why I'm using this blush. I do think these are really nice blushes, so I will say. My highlighter today is just one of the shades from the palette. It's the iridescent shade. My lashes are the same as the... Last look that I did, which is the Unicorn Dream Slashes from Unicorn Cosmetics. I did open a new pair because I love these. I think they're like small and kind of subtle, but they just add like that extra little bit of oomph that I like to a look. Is there anything else I should mention? My earrings are Anna Luisa. I got this little like beaded tie. I just think it is the cutest thing ever on Etsy. I can link it down below if you're interested, but I feel like it just adds a little bit of extra to like and not so maybe exciting outfit. I don't know. But yeah, I really like this look. I'm excited to wear it the rest of the day. I think it's beautiful. I can't wait to play more with this palette. Here is my next look of the video, and I'm pretty sure I said I was going to use the Glaminatrix palette again, and that's what I did. I basically used shades that I hadn't used yet, and so I used pretty much this corner here, this one, this one, this one, a little bit of this one, and a little bit of this one, which is also what I have on my face as my face highlighter today, and I'm just having a really good time with this palette. I'm almost sad that I'm not doing any more looks with it, but at the same time, I feel like this color story is gonna get boring for me. Mostly just like because of the mattes, I feel like a lot of them end up just looking kind of similar, but the shimmers are so pretty that I definitely see myself using this along with like other things. So for the rest of my face today, I'm using, what blush am I using? Oh, I'm using this one from ColourPop. It was underneath my phone. I was like, where did I put that? This is the shade called Cosmopolitan. I still really, really love this blush formula from ColourPop and it's such a pretty kind of red but wearable blush. I think it is a stunning color and a stunning formula. It's sort of a like a satiny finish without being too shiny. Like I don't want a shiny blush. I don't mind like a satiny blush sort of like a glowy blush, but I don't want it to look like a highlighter on my cheeks. I don't feel like this does that. So really, really, really like that. My lashes today are the Dreamer Lashes from Unicorn Cosmetics. In my waterline, I have an eyeliner from ColourPop, which is this one. It's in the shade Peach Fuzz. I actually really like this color, and I'm realizing now that I did not put any mascara on my lower lashes, which I feel like that happens a lot. <laughs> Uh, like, I don't know why sometimes I just kind of forget and I honestly don't feel like it makes that big of a difference Like I really don't care if I forget to put mascara underneath my eye like it's fine I don't like really clumpy lashes under here anyway So I tend to just go with a very 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 light coat. This is my bad gal bang And let's see my lip combo today is a little different. I'm trying a new lip product except I do have the Natasha and on my dream lip liner on because it wouldn't be me otherwise. So I picked this up from Ulta. I made an order because I wanted to restock on my foundation and I got this one. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade, what is this? This is like a limited edition one. I don't even know if it says the name on it. I really can't see it. It looks like this. I'll show you a little close up. It's got a little like swirlies on it. I'm pretty sure this is like a holiday thing. I don't know, it doesn't really smell like 
that much. It smells a little sweet, but I got it because of the color. I thought it was such a beautiful brown gloss and I love it. The formula in this is great. Like I have never tried the butter glosses from NYX before and I've heard so many good things about them. I don't know why I've never picked any up, but this is so pretty. This is like the perfect like brown leaning gloss for me. It's definitely not like a nude, I mean, it is a nude gloss, but I feel like it's not a my lips but better gloss. It's definitely a colorful brown gloss, but I love it. I think it looks so good. And I think that this will look really nice with like cool tone looks, like blue looks and like green looks. This would look perfect. And I mean, I can wear it with any look ever because of the color, but in particular, like a green look with this looks so nice. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today's look. It was very, very simple. I just didn't have a ton of time and I just wanted to kind of get it done. Uh, my jewelry is from Ana Luisa, both of these. I love them. Uh, my top, I don't know. This is a bodysuit from ASOS that I got a while back. If you want to see more of my fashion content, I will leave my fashion channel down below. I also started posting like shorts there of my outfits of the day that I used to post here, but I felt like it just more fitting to put it on that channel instead. So we'll have that linked if you're interested in checking it out. So that's going to be it for today's look. I feel like what I just played with was kind of unexpected. Like I knew this palette was coming, but not that I was getting it today and that I was gonna have time to film a look with this, but this is the new palette from Ensley Rain. And this is the first time I'm trying the brand. I did buy this palette myself. This is called the Harvest Moon palette. And I saw the outside of this when they were sneak peeking it, and I was like, oh God, this is gonna be my first time trying the brand. I mean, this is just so beautiful, so pretty, so unlike any other palette that I've ever seen. And I like that they have the same thing on the inside as the outside and there's no mirror in this. Like I actually kind of like that. So as for my first impressions on this, I obviously will have a video up on this probably when you're seeing this. I think that the shimmers are stunning. Like there's a lot of different formulas in here. So I have a lot of playing around to do to figure out like how I like this. Obviously wear time, I have no idea. Some of these are very creamy. Some of them are very flaky. And like I said, there's just a lot going on. So I'm gonna need some time to play with this. My first impression on the mattes, um, I did use a transition shade from my little Pat McGrath palette. And then I used this shade only as my matte. And I think that my, my first impression so far is that the mattes are very pigmented, but also very powdery. So I noticed as soon as I started putting shadow on my eye that if I wasn't careful, I would get a lot of fallout. So I took it kind of slow with this formula because I felt like it would easily get out of hand. So if you have this palette, if you have anything from them, be a little bit careful, I guess I'm trying to say so far. Um, I also just, I wish that there were some lighter mattes, but obviously I bought this palette knowing that there wasn't, so it wouldn't be fair to the palette if I try to review this as a standalone palette when I bought it with the intention of using it as a companion palette. I hope that sort of makes sense. So I am going to be pairing this with like just some lighter mattes just to make sure that I get the looks out of it that I want. But I think that this is such a cool color story. Like I'm just really excited to play more with this. It's not what I would normally reach for. I definitely prefer, you know, lighter to mid-tone shimmers. Um, and I feel like this is not it. <laughs> this is like the complete opposite. This is like mid-tone to dark shimmers, but I'm gonna play with it. I'm gonna have a good time with it. I'm gonna probably get some really cool looks out of it as well. And I'm definitely gonna do some graphic looks with this as well, because that way I'm not gonna have to pull in other mattes and it would be easy to just like use these. But I'm really excited to use this shade. Like this shade, this shade, like the warm tones. I did use this one on the front of my lid today and I used this shade on my lid and a little bit of this one, just like a tiny amount just on the outer corner of my lid. So that is what is on my eyes today. So far I like it. Just need to play more with it because I haven't really made up my mind. A lot of the same things on my face. I'm using the bronzer from Pat McGrath, I'm using the House Labs blush in the shade Pomelo Peach. I'm using the Noctilucent palette from Blend Bunny on my face, my brow bone, and a little bit on my inner corner right here. I'm using the Natasha Nona lip liner. And then I did try a new lip product. Now I did get my package from Kaleidos. Let me know if you wanna see a dedicated video with it. I did get sent all of the lip products, which is one that I'm wearing today. And this is a shade called Skinny Dip. It's the lightest out of the colors. And I was worried at first when I like opened this that it was gonna be a little too milky, a little too white based because those kind of colors don't look good on me. But this is a beautiful, very light nude color and I'm living for it. Like I can see myself having this in my bag. It feels really, really nice. 
It is not sticky in the slightest. It has a decent amount of pigment to it, but it's not like opaque. And it just seems like a kind of lip formula that I'm going to absolutely fall in love with. So I'm excited to try the other colors as well. And yeah, let me know if you want to see, I don't know what I'm going to do with the palettes, honestly. I'll probably include them in one of these, maybe later in this one. I really don't know. I don't know if there's any interest in me doing a dedicated video with that collection just because I got it so late. So I don't know. I'm going to have to feel that out. My lashes today are, gosh, they're from Unicorn Cosmetics, of course. I don't remember because I don't have the packaging. Are they the Unicorn Dreams lashes? They might be the Unicorn Dreams lashes. It would make sense because I did just open a new pair, but I didn't put them back in because... I always forget. So I think that's gonna be it for today's look. I really like how it turned out and I'm excited to see how these shimmers wear because they were very creamy. So fingers crossed that these are gonna look good the rest of the day. Here is my next look of this video. And I have been gone, I was away for like six days. I went to Lake George for a Scrabble tournament. So I just got back and I got this in the mail. The day that I got back and I decided to film with this today. So this video should be up already. This is with the new DD Signature palette. I did a look with the other, like the neutral palette in my last makeup diaries, but turned out I didn't have audio on a clip, so I didn't include it. But I did play with this one very recently, which is the palette that's no longer available. If you're unfamiliar with the brand, they used to be around for a while. They shut down for like two years, now they're back. So this is their first release uh, after coming back, and I think it's a beautiful palette. I had a lot of fun with this. I think the formula is great. I will have all of my codes and everything down below. I do have a code with the brand. I think it's beautiful, and I'm excited to share it with you and I did something very simple today I only really used these two greens and these two in the corner here and then for the sort of inner corner portion here I actually dipped into the neutral wonder palette which is the other one here which is not available anymore and I used the iridescent sort of greeny goldy shade because I thought it would it would just tie in very nicely and I really like this look now for the rest of my face I do have some different things on today because like I said I just got back from a trip and I haven't really unpacked all of my makeup yet so I'm still using the Lancome foundation and concealer, but I have a different powder on today. Uh, this is the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter setting powder. I did not realize that was the name of it, but I've had this forever and it's just like my backup powder for, you know, like I said, if I'm traveling or something like that, I've already packed out my makeup and I need to have like another powder on hand so I can still do my makeup. This is the one that I use. It's, it's okay. I, I don't know if I necessarily recommend it. I think it's fine. It does tend to sometimes leave a bit of a white cast if I'm not careful, like if I put on too much. So just something to keep in mind. I probably wouldn't recommend it, but it is what I'm wearing today. Um, I am using the literally don't know where anything is story of my life. I'm using the CoverGirl brow pen instead of the West Barnes & Co because the other one's packed away. So that is what is in my brows. I'm still using the same eye primers and stuff like that because I have multiples. I am using the Kaleidos bronzer though because my Pat McGrath one is in my bag. So that is the one that I have on my cheeks today. And I'm using one of the Sigma blushes. This is the shade called Very Love. I just wanted something like this because I felt like it would go with what I was doing today. And then for the highlighter, I pulled out my Half Magic highlighter, which I have not been used. I have not been used. I have not used in a while. This is the one called Light Trap. And I think this is just stunning. And I used it with the new What's Up Beauty brush. And oh my God, like it made such a difference. I feel like my highlighter just went on so beautifully with this one. Like it's a very large highlighting brush, but I feel like with certain formulas, especially like the very smooth ones, it works so nicely. And it's probably why they came out with this kind of brush because the formula on this one is very similar to the formula of the new What's Up Beauty highlighters, which is the Serengeti one. I probably showed it already in uh, this video, but I think this is so beautiful and these two together are wonderful. So very, very happy about that. I'm using the Natasha Nona My Perfect Lip Liner and then I just have a gloss over the top. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, very simple look, but I just wanted to test the formula in a way that I knew I would get a good idea of what it would be like still uh, and just see if the formula was the same as before. And I feel like it is. I feel like it's the same good quality formula that I'm used to from DD Signature. So yeah, very happy about that. That's gonna be today's look. I have no idea where I'm at right now, how many I've done. I need to like start importing these and counting because for all I know, I'm at three and I could be at seven. So you'll definitely see one more look in this video. Here is my look for today, and I did use the Ensley Ring palette again, even though this is my third look with this, not my second look. I actually didn't film a clip for my second look because I did not have time yesterday. 
Um, but yeah, today I used, as you can tell, mostly the warm tones. I used this shade, the shade and the shade in my crease, and I used this shade on my lid, a bit of this one and this one. So kind of a repeat of what I did in my second look with the lightest shade in this palette because I feel like it's just the lightest shade. So my review on this should be up already when you're seeing this. I think it's a nice palette. I have had some problems with creasing, but other than that, mattes are beautiful. The color story is like not perfect for me because it's very dark leaning, but that I knew that going into it, so I bought it anyway, but I think the quality is really, really nice. So if you've been eyeing this brand, I do think that you'd like it. Just if you struggle with creasing, maybe this will crease on you. Maybe you watch a couple of other reviews and see what they say as well. So for the rest of my face today, I am wearing my Pat McGrath bronzer again. I'm using the Dior blush. No one is surprised, I guess by now. Um, do I have highlighter on today? I don't think I've put on highlighter. What should I use? Should I use the... I'll just use this one again since I have it in front of me. This is the half magic one. I guess I can kind of put it on on camera so you can see uh, the application of it. I'm just going to use a bit of a fluffier brush here. And maybe I do have a little bit of I literally forget. Like, so forgetful. I do feel like I put on a little bit of highlighter, but I'm going to put on some of this over the top because I felt like I wasn't wearing enough. But... This is just such a beautiful, wearable, goes with everything kind of highlighter. So I need to start wearing it more often because it was buried in my drawer for a very long time. And now that it's on my vanity, it's going to stay here. So let's see. For the rest of my face, I also have some freckles on because I thought that'd be kind of cute. I'm using the freckle pen from Lime Crime in the shape Amber. It is my favorite freckle product that I've been you know, using ever since I got into fake freckles. I think they're really cute. My lashes today, I don't know what style these are. They're definitely Unicorn Cosmetics. They're a little bit long. They're like probably my least favorite lashes from them that I actually like. Does that make sense? Like I have a couple of lash styles that I've tried from the brand that I've just like, I put on my eyes without putting glue on and I'm just like, no, like these are not for me. But these are the ones that I I still wear, but I struggle to put them on sometimes because they're they're kind of big and like I need a perfect application for them to look like great. And I feel like I got a good application today after a little bit of trial and error, I did have to take this lash off one time and put it back on, which is annoying. And I don't need to do that with all the lashes that I have. So I, don't know, I tend to wear these on days where I'm not really planning on going anywhere. So if it looks a little wonky, then it just is what it is. Let's see, is that? All that I'm wearing, I feel like, no, my lip products. I'm wearing the Lisa Eldridge lip liner in the shade Fawn, and I also have the lip gloss in the shade Fawn as well. I'm pretty, no, this is the shade Affair. I don't know why I thought these were called the same thing. Probably because I have a lipstick that's called Fawn that goes with this lip liner, but not the gloss. Anyway, that is my lip combo today. I think it looks good. My earrings, I don't know where are from. These are very, very old. I think I bought them at H&M or something like that. Maybe, maybe even Express like a long time ago. I really, I really don't remember. I've had them for so long. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for today's look. I really like how it turned out. I like, I love red eyeshadow. I just think it looks so good. It looks very fierce. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I don't know. I do have some new things I need to play with tomorrow. Oh, I think I'm, I know what I'm gonna play with tomorrow. So I will show you that in a little bit. So for this look, I played with a couple of things that I really didn't feel like I could justify making a dedicated video to because this is kind of an old, I'm putting that in quotation, release. Uh, so I don't know. I, I really wanted to play with it. I did not get this scented PR the first go around and I'm talking about the new collection from Kaleidos. Um, I reached out to them a little while after like I'd seen other people get it in PR and I was like, hey, am I like not on your PR list anymore? Am I getting this scent in PR? Because otherwise I'd like to buy the collection and try it for myself. And they were like, uh, we actually only sent, sent out PR to a couple of people in the first round because production wasn't ready with all of the products. So they did ask me what I wanted from the collection. And I said I wanted to try the quads as well as the lip products. They did send me two of the blushes. You've probably seen a lot of people make videos on a Kaleidos collection. And I literally told them, listen, like, don't send me the blushes. They're going to be too light. They sent me two. I've looked at them. They're too light. So I'm not going to use them. I'm going to try to give those to someone who I think will be able to use them. But I did play with this quad today. And I do plan on probably trying the other one as well. So this is the Venus Trap one. I only used these three shades. I didn't really dip into this very light kind of pinky shade because I honestly just didn't know what to do with it. So I just did a shimmery inner corner purpley highlighter in the inner corner. 
<laughs> can't speak. Anyway, that's what I did on my eyes today. And I will say the quality of these quads from Kaleidos are fantastic. I really think that Kaleidos has such a good formula that it makes me really sad the direction that the brand is going in because they used to be so fun. They used to come out with like really innovative stuff and, you know, things that everybody was talking about. And I feel like with the last couple of collections from Kaleidos, everyone's kind of just like, meh. Like nobody really cares, but at the same time, like people want to try it just to see what the quality is like because they like Kaleidos as a brand. I feel like that is the boat that I am in as well. And even though the quality of the eyeshadows is fantastic, like so nice. And like, look at this shimmer. It is so, so pretty. The mask performed so beautifully. I have no issues at all with these. And even though the color story isn't really my favorite, like I don't tend to use cool tones like this too often, but I mean, looking at it, I feel like maybe I should because it looks really, really, really good. And I do really enjoy the look. I enjoy the quality of this, like I said, and I feel like the, uh, is it cold brew quad? that they came out with like in the past is honestly one of my most used palettes from Kaleidos of all time. And that's just like a, a brown neutral quad, but it's such good quality. And it's so easy on days where you just like, you can't be bothered trying to do something fancy, but you still want to have shadows that you know perform well and that you can trust. And I feel like this is another one of those. So I'm happy to have it in my collection, but I, I am hoping that Kaleidos will, uh, you know, maybe move back to doing something a little bit more exciting and fun in the future. And I feel like right now they're very much targeting the Asian market. I could be wrong, but I, that is like the feeling that I get with all of the products. Um, I am also using one of the new lip products, which I love these. I have been using these for quite some time now. I have the full range and I'm not going to do like any swatch videos or anything like that because so many people have already done that. And I feel like it's just, it's a little too late for me with those, but I did want to let you know that if you're interested in these glosses from Kaleidos, they are so comfortable, so nice. They look great on the lips. They're not the most long lasting, which I mean, it's a gloss, so you wouldn't expect it to be. This one is definitely the most kind of interesting out of the bunch. So it's got little like red sparkles in it and it's still very, very clear. So it's a very wearable color. I'm using it with a lip liner today and I think it looks so good. Like I love, I, I can't tell you enough like how much I love this formula. I think it might quickly become one of my absolute favorite gloss formulas in my collection. I still have a couple of colors left to try out, but I will definitely keep like rotating those and they're gonna just end up in all of my bags. I already know it. So yeah, I think these are amazing. Um, anything else I'm wearing today? I have a little bit of purple in my waterline because I just wanted to pull in the inner corner, which is the Noctilucent palette from Blam Bunny. No one's surprised I'm using the shade up in the corner as well as a little bit of that on my brow bone. It's a shade called Far Out. And then my highlighter today is the Serengeti highlighter from What's Up Beauty. This is a shade called Safari Sunset that I've been using pretty much this whole video, I think. And I just think it's so nice. Like it's just an easy highlighter to throw on. It's not like super out there, but it still has a really, really nice kind of wet looking shine to it and out in daylight and just like when you're living life, it just looks really, really, really nice. So really been enjoying this as well. Um, I think that's pretty much it for today. Oh, my blush, I should mention that too. I'm using the Pat McGrath blush in the shade. Cherish, which you have also seen many, many times. One of my favorite pink blushes in my collection. Oh, and also I did use that blush with the uh, brush that came with the Kaleidos collection. So this is just the Kaleidos blending blush brush is what it says. It's a really, really, really nice brush. Um, I've actually really enjoyed all of the brushes that I have from Kaleidos. I think they're really nice. So if you're on their website at any point and you, you know, looking to pick up a brush, I would definitely recommend them. I think they're really good quality. So I think that's going to be it for today's look. I'll probably add in like another look into this video and call it a video, but we'll, we'll see. I, I haven't quite decided yet. I still need to like import this and see where I'm at. For this look, I also wanted to use something that I didn't really, I felt like it was a bit too late to make a dedicated video on this. And this is a new collection from Nomad. Um, I'm sure you've seen some people probably feature this. It's called Nomad Air. And basically what they've done is they have created sort of a travel collection. So you can buy all of these products individually or as the set the way it is. So it comes with a, like a face cream, a lip balm, a 
spray, just like a face mist, which are all packaged really nicely in this little bag. You can, like I said, also buy all of these products individually, but I really wanted to test out the palette, which is basically just a very neutral palette that would be great for traveling probably but i think for myself even though the formulas are really nice like i did enjoy this a lot i think it performed really well i just feel like these aren't my perfect tone mats you know i feel like everybody has that kind of like transition shade and deepening shade like those two perfect perfect mats tone wise that just work so well for you i feel like these are almost there but I almost, I feel like this shade is a little too peachy for me and this one's a little, I wish that there was something in between these two. Something a little bit darker than this and something a little bit lighter than this. But that's just like a me thing. I think the shimmers are really pretty. I don't usually tend to go for, you know, neutral shimmers like this. Uh, but I'm actually going to a, like a music festival thing in Vegas tonight and it's super early in the morning right now. It's like 7.24 and we're going tonight. So I'm doing my makeup very early. So I'll probably add on a little to this when I get home, but I am wearing some really fun lashes today. I picked these up from, was it Ulta last time I made an order? These are from Lily Lashes and they're called the Gold Tinsel Faux Mink Lashes in the shade Sparkle, I think. But they're really, really cute. They have a little like gold tinsels in them. And I feel like they are pretty much the perfect length for me. I don't think my application is perfect, but it's good enough. It's gonna have to do. I'll probably pop on some rhinestones maybe later tonight or something like that but i wanted to test out the palette and still do sort of a fun look so i did do some shadows underneath my eye as well as some eyeliners because i need this to last literally like all day and all night so i'm wearing these two uh eyeliners underneath my eye as my base for the shadows this is the ColourPop uh liner in the shade crystal wait uh crystal crush that's a hard one to say this is basically a metallic blue but it was the only liner that i had in this color and then i'm wearing this one from about face which is a shade called line artist on the outer portion and then on top i have the blend bunny palette so i basically set the eyeliners with the eyeshadows and i used these two colors right here just to kind of get like a really really good long lasting um under eye because that is what i was looking for today and then i'm using some of the noctilucent palette on my cheek as well as my brow bone and my inner corner I'm just using the uh, yellow shade right here. Uh, my lip combo today, I don't know if I'm gonna use the same thing tonight. Actually, I might because I really like this. I'm using the Natasha Nona lip liner with another one of the Kaleidos glosses, and this is the shade called Pink Marquee. I really wasn't expecting this to be as pink when I saw it in the tube. I thought it would be more of like a, a mauve color, but I feel like it's really pink and I love it. Like, it's so pretty. I think it's beautiful. Um, let's see, is there anything else? My earrings are from Amazon. I have two pairs of these. I have the gold ones as well, and I've been loving them. Like, I wear them so often. Like, they are one of my best purchases, I think, of the year. I think they're so cool. Uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much it for today. So I think I'm just going to call this a video. I feel like there's been at least eight looks in this video. It might even be nine. Probably eight. Maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you guys are enjoying these videos. Thank you so much for watching as always If you want to see some other makeup diaries, I'll put my playlist up on the screen If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye